Okay guys, today I'm going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to re-grip a tennis racket. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to be using my own racket, this is a Bablat Pure Drive. I will also be using, this is the overgrip that I use, I'll go into a little bit more detail about that later during the process. And I would also recommend that you use a pair of scissors. Um, obviously when you're using your scissors please make sure that you are cautious around them, do not run around with them, and just use them for the purpose of this tutorial. So, we start off with my racket. Um, it has a few different parts. This is the head of the racket, this entire bit up here. This is the throat of the racket, the handle with the grip on it. This is the butt of the racket. And then here is what is called a grip guard or a grip band that wraps around the top of the grip and the top of the handle. Your racket may not have this feature. If it doesn't, just um, continue with the instructions that I'm giving. The method for re-gripping is pretty much the same for any racket you're going to use. So the form and the way I do things should work for your racket as well. Okay, so let's just start at this. So we have my racket and the first thing you want to do is take off this grip band. Now I'm using my legs to hold my racket in place as I do this because you want to be very cautious when you're taking this thing off. It can snap if you pull it too hard and we're just going to set it aside here. Please do not throw that out. That is important. It's going right back on the racket when I'm done. Okay, so now we look at the racket again. Here we're looking for this tape that's on top of my racket handle. This is what's holding my grip in place, okay? So you look for this, and you want to find its edge, like this right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to, you know, very carefully peel that off. And if pieces of the grip come off with it, that's fine, um, because we're going to be replacing the grip. So, and what should happen is as you go around, you'll catch your actual grip. As you can see here, I've caught the the grip right here with the with the tape. So you shouldn't the tape shouldn't come completely off the grip. It should just stay attached to the grip as you go. So you're just gonna take this off, slowly unravel it, and you can see that underneath my this grip is actually my racket's real grip. Um, that's because I use over grips. If you're using if you're using this tutorial to replace your actual grip your instructions will be exactly the same. Instead of seeing this, you're actually going to see the handle of the racket itself, which is fine. Again, the instructions work for either or. Um, and so right here, you just very carefully peel this piece off, like so. And there you go. You've taken off your old grip. Now, as you can see, my grip is getting old, you want to replace it more often if you're playing more often because the grip can get slippery in your hands or it could unravel itself completely and then you have no grip on your racket anymore and that's not safe to play with. So just make sure that you're aware of the condition of your racket and its grip is. If it's starting to look a little bit frayed or a little bit older, especially if it's white, if it's starting to turn gray like this, then you definitely want to consider replacing it. Okay, so we're going to actually move over to the grip now, instead of the racket. So you can put your racket aside for now. So for mine, uh, this is an over grip, like I said, and it has the actual grip itself here, and then it has this piece. This is actually the, the replacement of the tape you took off in the last step. Put this aside for now. Do not throw it out. That is very important. You want to keep all of these pieces for the entire time. Now you're going to unravel your overgrip or grip, depending on what you have. And it should look something, something like this. Um, you can see that it has two coverings on it to keep it safe from any damage that could happen at, say, a company or just from you unraveling it. So as you can see on mine, the blue represents the back. So I'm going to take that one off first because um, I feel that it's better to keep the part that you're actually going to be holding safe longer. So you just very carefully unravel this like that. 
And this actually goes to your discard pile because you don't need it anymore. And then we come to this. So this is the end of the of the grip or over grip that you're going to put on the racket first. So you want to hold it on this end. You can see that there's the bigger end and the thinner end. You want to hold it by this end only. For now, at least. Now, if you look closely, there is a sticky piece here that you're going to want to take off. I'm not going to take it off quite yet because first things first, you really want to take this piece off because as you're gripping, you don't want this to get stuck on the grip. It is only meant to protect it before you put the grip on the racket. You do not want it on the racket before play. So that goes in discard as well. So we have our new grip here, ready to go. Now you want to pick up your racket again. You want to hold it by the head facing down towards your feet with the butt facing up towards the ceiling. You want to hold it in front of you and you might want, I recommend doing this while sitting down because like I said earlier you can use your legs to anchor it wherever you're sitting so that you can just focus on the gripping part of the racket. So now you take your over grip or your grip and you want to remove that sticky piece I mentioned earlier. You do not need to keep this. Okay, so we are almost ready to apply the grip or over grip. I'm just going to lay it there for a second. So we're going to take this, this piece of tape that you had to keep earlier. You want to unravel it very carefully so that you don't, it doesn't lose any of its stickiness. As you can see, it has its own protection on there, like this. You just quickly take this off. Just make sure you be patient with it, obviously. Take that off. And what I normally do with it is I will stick just one end here on whatever surface you're nearby because you're going to want to be able to grab this once you're through gripping your racket. That's very important that it is ready to go wherever you are. So now you take the racket and you take that sticky end right here and you want to apply it to right around here on your racket. So you want it to be almost completely covering the butt of the racket. The butt of the racket itself is still clear of anything, but you definitely want it to be as snug against that edge as you can. And then you want to apply gentle pressure. It might even help if you hold that sticky part with your thumb for now. And you want to apply just gentle pressure and start turning the racket like this around that butt of the racket until you get back to here. So again, start here, thumb, Pressed against it to make sure it doesn't move. Apply gentle pressure with your opposite hand and turn around like that. Now we've reached where we started. Now what you want to do is you actually want to start angling this piece down a little bit so that it's not completely covering the piece you put down like this. You want it to be down a little bit. It, it's all personal preference at that point. But the whole key to this is that you want, as you keep going with the same pressure in your, in your hand here, holding it here, you want to be slightly covering the band before it. So if you look here, as I go over, a bit of, my, of the grip actually covers what I had before. And that's important because this will keep your grip from unraveling. Because if you don't do this, if for say you do this, as you can see, first of all, I have this section open. And it's fine because I have a grip, but if you have your handle there, that's not a good thing to have because that means that you're losing structural support for your hand. So just make sure that as you go, you are overlapping, just like so. And about a quarter of an inch might be fine. Um, I kind of go based off of just trying to cover it just slightly, but obviously for your first try, um, 
don't be too meticulous about it. You just want to do the best job you can, and you will get better with it at, in time. But you just keep going around like this. I'm twisting the racket itself under the grip. I'm not moving the grip with my other hand. This hand is supposed to stay around, right around here in front of you. And you use the opposite hand to twist your racket underneath the grip. And you use this hand to maneuver the grip up and down and around. And as you can see, I'm still applying that gentle pressure. You don't want to stretch this too much because that could cause the grip to snap in your hands or it could cause the grip to not be as effective because you stretch it too far. So just make sure that you're very, very meticulous about your pressure. And just like that, we have reached the top of the handle where the handle meets the throat. Now, I have this extra grip here. This is what the scissors are for. So what you want to do is, if I actually back up a little bit here and show it like this, what's going to happen is when you twist the racket around again, you can see that you don't want the overgrip to go much further past this line, where the grip itself meets the actual racket. So, what I do is I hold the grip tight here and then what you want to do is you want to take your scissors carefully and you want to make a line along here on the grip so I'll show it from this angle also as you can see the way that it'll work is if I cut this like this then that triangle that I create is going to lay along this little bit of a triangle here. I'm basically just shortening this thing's length so that, or rather its width, so that it will fit better here. It doesn't have to fit perfectly because this is the top of the racket. You're most likely not going to be affected if that's a little bit up or down from where you want it to be. But you also don't want to wrap the rest of the overgrip around multiple times because then the top of the grip will be thicker than the bottom and that could cause a problem. So, here we go, holding this tight right here, grabbing my scissors. I'm just going to very carefully cut a triangle shape like that. This you don't really need at this point, so I am going to carefully put down my scissors and put it over here with my discards. And now, taking my racket again, I'm actually going to hold it this way now. I'm going to hold it so that the head is facing up and the butt is facing towards the ground. And I'm just going to carefully wrap it around. Now you can see that I obviously did not cut enough of it. That's fine. Because now we're going to take this tape that I mentioned before. I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to switch hands real fast. Like that. If you look at this, I kind of missed the cut mark a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the edge of my tape on the edge there. And I'm just going to carefully apply it like that. And now I'm going to, again, with gentle pressure, rotate the tape across the top of the grip. So gentle pressure in now my left hand, rotating the racket with my right hand, and just applying tape as I go. And once you get to the end, you just want to carefully apply some pressure here to make sure that it is actually stuck to both the grip and the racket. And I do believe that mine is there. Okay. And now for the final step, you want to, if you have the grip band, you want to grab it again, flip the racket back upside down, and hold it with in between your, your legs, like so. And then very carefully stretching it apart. You want to fit it over the new grip all the way down to the bottom. 
holding it there and then you just want to do a little bit of maneuvering so that it is holding the tape in place as best you can a little bit of fine adjustments to that and that is, should be about it um, the racket should be good to play again uh, obviously if you do not feel the grip is good you can always take it off and replace it please make sure that you replace it as often as you feel is necessary if it's fraying here if it's starting to fall off of the handle if it's become slippery in your fingers then you may want to consider replacing it thank you so much for watching i hope that helped and i hope you have a great rest of your day